it is that time of the day well let me just see if everything is working properly okay give it a second and we're live what up people of the leeches website and uh, viewers of this channel so today decided to yeah just do another stream because uh didn't really have time to prepare some content for you so didn't really had time to go through some end games and now at my time it's kind of late so i decided to maybe jump into a stream and i wanted to make it a little bit more frequent so the streaming stuff because i like it a lot and uh, yeah just generally generally feels good so uh i was looking at the tournaments here at the leeches website hopefully everything is working great here i can see it's looking fine uh we do have the hourly super blitz arena but this time i would like to make it so that uh, i do have a little bit more times because previously i've been watching some of my games played on the stream and i've noticed that uh, uh, i do have a tendency and a problem to play a little bit slowly so i'm just going to take this opportunity and uh, use okay i'm going to berserk but uh, obviously against lower rated players and uh, in my opinion weaker players i'm going to oh okay i'm first on the move sorry not really sure if that was okay but i wanted to start uh yeah i'm going to play a little bit just a little bit uh yeah faster but uh, other than that yeah i'm going to take my time trying to explain all of my variations and why do i play some moves and uh, make it yeah make it seem better let's say don't want to give up this bishop since he did uh, give up the bishop immediately i'm going to keep the bishop pair and try to use that in the in the future of this game and now yeah let's just develop simply this knight is kind of weird weirdly placed here uh now the thinking will be okay no okay knight to f5 which is a good idea so let's play g6 and stop that immediately and obviously white isn't going uh queen side castle anytime soon so uh let's just see let's play c6 and keep in mind that uh, you don't have a lot of time on the clock uh let's play this now that f4 has been played this kind of an attack on the knight does come in handy and f4 is definitely a blunder here because now the position kind of not really but kind of falls apart let me capture here immediately and let me also go for this knight now um okay he can play h4 if he plays knight to e6 i will first give a check and then capture the pawn but okay he gives up the knight also okay i mean after h4 i wouldn't really be giving out the queen and okay now i'm really confused okay i can capture here first and give a check so let's do that i mean i will capture the knight eventually so let's capture the, the queen first now that i'm stronger i'm going to yeah capture all the pieces that i can and uh simply yeah paulok 732 doesn't really provide a lot of resistance so let's move the king the knight is out of pin let's capture this pawn and go simply even further okay yeah let's capture this attack the rook the knight will be attacking the bishop so now that's another piece also knight to c2 is a threat yeah a lot of things can happen here so i'm going to try and feel more comfortable uh with the yeah with the current uh, with the current uh time format and just because of that trying to play some better games let's give a check let's pick up this pawn and uh definitely it is time to resign but uh as it is in my experience usually playing against players with um, checkmate threats uh with lower rating uh, it it does yeah it does seem that they don't want to really resign the game until the checkmate so let's pick up all the pieces okay take this one take this one bring the rook back and uh, then staircase checkmate with the rooks okay rook b3 will it allow it okay yes it will but here obviously there will be an issue so let's bring the king make him sacrifice the rook for the pawn which will become a queen and then play rook to a2 so that is going to be the general plan 
And let's see. Okay, he allows it immediately. So let's go back to the tournament. Let's try and find, <clears throat> uh, yeah, a more wordy opponent in this Torre attack themed. Um, with this game, I did want three points. And okay, there are not a lot of participants in this one. Yeah, but that's that's to be expected. That's to be expected uh, with the current situation uh, because it's themed uh, by the opening. It's five plus so, and at the same time we do have um, a super blitz. Generally, people like to play faster games, so yeah. But where am I actually with three points? It doesn't automatically go to my place. Okay, being paired up again with uh, some guy who I guess used this password for for the no oh sorry nunch okay nunch also going to berserk here let's play the bishop back and now use the general plan uh, developing of the pieces go king side castle bishop to d3 i think here's the an idea also c4 but f6 i'm guessing not really i mean should be really careful with this pawn push because now the bishop is out of the way here. So let's play bishop to d3 first. Let's play that first and then uh, going to maybe play c4 after I go castle. So not to enable some checks and maybe knight to c3 pins. So yeah. f6, I don't know if that was uh, like a, a blunder or something. I'm not really sure what was the idea here. Don't really want to give up the bishop just yet for this knight. Um, I mean, I could, but... He can easily support it with f5. So time to open up the center. He is, he is kind of slow with his pawn moves. So let's just put the pressure on. Okay, that's a that's a healthy pawn. Now just the question is with which what do I want to give up? Do I want to give up the knight or the bishop? If I play with the knight here, there is knight to z6, but he will go castle, so not really. Let's keep the bishop pair as though is the bishop pair. Uh, use it for the for the end game. And d5 could be could be a good move here. Yeah, let's play d5 immediately. If all the exchanges go down in the end it will be a check and I have time to either to place a queen on a better square either also play rook to c1. So, okay, yeah. Bishop to g3. I'm not really sure that he can trap the piece. Okay, knight c5. Let's move the bishop out of the way. This pawn is defended. f5 could be a move. Bishop to g4. Okay. Let's uh, let's play h3. So, queen to f3 is a move. Okay, bishop to h5 can be played. But if he plays bishop to e f h5, I'm simply going to play e4. Okay, he does have some counterplay in his game, but uh, I think I'm still holding the edge. After all, I do have a pawn, and uh, I'm thinking kind of long, already on minute 27. But yeah, I think the plan is pretty clear now after... Okay, not rook to c1, okay. Let's play b4 and bishop to b3 after the knight moves. If he moves to a6, then a3. Okay, this pawn is defended now. Bishop to b3, try to open up the position a little bit. Bishop to h6 is not a bad move by any sorts. He's definitely uh, keeping the c file. He can play rook to c8. So maybe I can actually play bishop to d3. Maybe threaten something like this, yeah. Because after I give a check like this, it doesn't seem like I can do anything else. So, hmm, okay. Now there's a check with a threat, but he can easily block. So maybe bishop to c4. So let's play a4 first. Start pushing the pawns on the queen side. Okay, knight d6. Okay, let's play rook e1. This this bishop is annoying. Okay, I could have okay. 
This I pr probably would have seen if I was going for a 5 minute game, but knight to e5 is a threat now after the king has moved from g8, so let's play knight to e5 with the bishop check and then uh, let's grab a knight here. I do open up the f-file, that's for sure. So, uh, But uh, after this capture I can safely return the bishop back to the defense. So yeah, he can play rook to f6. I wouldn't advise it because of queen to b2. Maybe, maybe even f4 and g4 are... Hmm. Yeah, it could be interesting. But okay, bishop to d6 is what he plays and uh, the rook is under attack. Next what I will do, okay, he doesn't want to... Yeah, I am know I know the rook is attacked, but I'll just capture. I'm better in this position, so... Okay, let's capture the bishop here. Queen captures e5. And now e6 and... Yeah, things are slowly but surely falling apart here. 29 minutes still to go in the tournament. Okay, 24, uh, 29 minutes to go. Not expecting really that I'm going to come to the first places because I joined kinda, kinda late. Whoa, okay. Okay, bishop to f1. Um, let's play it immediately. Yeah, just to move the bishop out of the way so that uh, the rook can maybe come to d1 and then start pushing again. This bishop is out of the game also, but I wanted to play bishop to f1 because of rook to c1 check and then queen to c1. It's not stopping the threat, but it's, uh, yeah, it's a move that I would play either way. So now d6 is possible. I'm guessing queen to d6 is probably the best move here, and then I would transfer the queen to this side of the board. Or maybe I don't have to do that. I can play g3 with bishop to g2 supporting the pawn and then use the queen to do actually some, to actually do something else. Queen to f5. Okay. Now this this pawn is attacked twice, but still no big threats. Okay. Okay. I see what's the what's the deal he, deal here. So let me play queen to e3. Defend this pawn and still d6 and d7 are now the threat. Cannot really do much here. He has, only has 20 seconds on the clock. So, okay, rook to c4. Let's play bishop to g2. Stop rook e4, let's say, even though it's not too big of a threat. And okay, he resigned the game. He resigned. Okay, let me just quickly check something. I think, yeah, everything is looking okay here. So let's go back. And uh, yeah, okay, already in eighth place. I did berserk two games, but the first guy has five berserks. He's really giving it all in. We don't have a strain, uh, a strong range of players like in the Super Blitz. Okay, this guy already did give up a piece. <laughs> I already see here. So, zero, zero. Oh, the first guy gave up the piece. No. Oh, yeah, he did. And the whole rook. Okay, he's obviously berserking and playing very, very fast. And, uh, yeah, let's not berserk this one. Let's um, try to play something casual. Okay, bishop to f5. C4 and e6 then. Okay, he also captures like the last guy. So, we'll have the pretty much same idea. But this goes... This one goes g3. Okay. A Catalan sword system if knight to h4. And the same idea will apply. He immediately plays h4. And now let's see. Rook to e8. Semi-open file. Always good. And if he decides to play e3, I will have, uh, yeah, very good looking light squares there. Okay. He played castle. And now the question is what to do. c5 seems uh, kind of too ambitious at this stage so let me just play c6 for now and try to maybe enter with the queen into the game i mean c4 isn't possible for him okay a3 let's let's stop any ideas of b4 for example by immediately playing a5 and now c3 develop the last piece 
and b4 isn't possible yet of course and then if capture capture i can capture with the bishop because the rook on a1 wasn't defended and now knight b6 knight c4 does seem nice so let me play that uh enter with the knight into the game uh transfer the queen here and also then support it on f5 okay so b4 not really yeah, not really doing anything for me at the moment if he wants to capture i will gladly capture and trying to transfer all of my efforts to the queen side um, the idea is to push b5 and try to open up if he captures then he definitely ruins his pawn structure okay knight here i have to play bishop to e6 to defend this pawn uh, and e4 was also a threat b4 was b5 wasn't possible because of bishop to c6 quite simply and okay here he goes immediately for for a strong attack in the center <clears throat> okay obviously d5 is a threat so Let's just move the bishop out of the way so that d5 isn't possible just yet. And b5 is in preparation. Okay, d5 immediately. Okay, let me capture, capture. Bishop captures, queen captures, and there is there are no discoveries with the knight. So this was an obvious pawn blunder. So queen to d5, this pawn is defended. Um, and yeah, it was plain simply a bad move what can i say so okay so now it's time to think okay don't really so this knight will come to d4 that is for sure so that is a great square for the knight i would like to exchange somehow here but yeah it's hmm it is a strange looking position so i do have a pawn but uh, cannot really use it so i was thinking something in the terms of the rook to d8 and i will play that i mean that is obviously pretty much a good idea now this uh, rook is also defending the pawn here on a5 and uh, after knight to d4 i do have an option on capture capture bishop captures and if pawn captures i can capture the knight just looking at any discoveries yeah okay he will have to play yeah the pawn is the pawn will be attacked so yeah this is looking good actually so bishop to b4 rook to b1 is impossible because of bishop to c3 and if he wants to defend the pawn then i will simply move the bishop back or maybe even bishop to c5 so it is very good that the rook is on d5 because there are no nice jumps for the knight yeah all of them are pretty much covered so i'm guessing maybe even pawn captures here is the best but uh, if he wants to prolong the game then playing one of the rooks on the c1 square would defend the pawn and then yeah simply prolong it but let's let's see okay zero zero guy is obviously out of fire because he lost the game as we saw he did give up a rook very easily so kind of berserk there and uh yeah just went yeah unfortunately it's yeah it happens so now i have at least two pawns so at least two pawns and okay i do have two pawns so i'll capture this and uh yeah but i do have double pawns here so so let's play b5 now and it's looking good so okay g6 quite simply king f king g7 will be a move and yeah doubling of the rooks on the c file doesn't do anything so i'm going to either play rook uh, b2 here um well, let's give a check and double up the rooks my, myself also i could have played rook to b1 immediately don't know okay this was a bad move so a bad quick move <clears throat> rook a3 let's uh yeah play rook b1 give a check king g7 rook d2 
Yeah, let's let's play the rook here, not allow any double ups on the seventh rank. Okay. Mm, rook to b7, probably better first. Okay, let's play c3, let's recapture here and play rook c7. Okay. Yeah, I would obviously push b4. If he doesn't do that, now rook goes on c1, let's play f5, and now the king enters the game. King f4, I'm guessing, no? Okay, going immediately for this, let's play it like this. Mm, okay, the king enters, don't want to really capture because then he would have rook to f1 check. If he moves the rook somewhere, I will just simply play, yeah, f1, but now this is quite easily winnable. Let me also remove this. I will push the pawn and <clears throat> should be enough. Okay, let's recapture here. Give a check, uh, king to g2. Okay, no. I don't know what he was hoping for, but yeah, here it's just quite simply a finished game. Back to tournament, okay. Yeah, I was hoping for a better resistance there, but yeah, it happens. Fifth place, now on fire. Playing, yeah, yeah, it's looking good. So, okay, zero, zero guy once again berserked and this time he won and he berserked another game and he's playing against no ray funds i guess berserking is the best way how to win a tournament here hmm. Hmm. okay okay there's a there is a notification okay somebody did uh, overcame me probably i will play against this person who pushed me down to the sixth place and yes okay let's berserk um giving up the bishop immediately no i'm not i'm not doing that so let's play it like this okay bishop to e7 standard idea as always and now c4 okay let's capture immediately don't allow bishop to b7 to be played as easily as that. Don't give up the bishop, definitely. And now after knight to c3, e4 could be a move. Okay. Is this some kind of a variation? If I play e4, pawn captures. Yeah, let's play e4. I'm guessing that he will capture the knight. Now, okay. I do have a strong pawn center, but I have to... Yeah, have to think about how to play this. Okay. Hmm. No, this is interesting. Bishop to c. Bishop to c seven. Where will the queen go? Let's see. This pawn is defended, so. Okay, and now after e five and bishop to d six. Yeah, this is now looking not so good for this guy. Uh, okay, queen to f3, I can play this. Bishop to g5, okay, let's play. Oh, okay. Bishop to d6. Hmm. He managed to go out of it. Okay, queen to e8. Ah, oh, come on. That would be so nice. Hmm. You will just simply play... Let's play rook to c7. If he plays bishop to e7, I can capture. No, I cannot capture. I mean, I can capture, but... Okay. Um... <clears throat> okay, obviously there are a lot of... A lot of variations here. Okay, man. What are you doing? <laughs> Let's play bishop to b5. 
Okay, where will the knight go? I'm guessing to f6 and then queen to c4. Defending the bishop. The knight has to go to f6. There is... Yeah, queen c4. Uh, the queen is attacked, doesn't really have anywhere to go. Knight has to go back to d7 and then queen to a4. Yeah, after all this... After all this stuff, I think I managed to win a piece here, and yeah, I think it's the game. Capture also with the bishop. Okay, and now that's that's a whole rook. And yeah, I think I have enough time to go and win this game. This is always a threat, so... Okay, so let's play this. Queen to e6 now. No checkmate ideas. Yeah, okay. Let's simply capture and play this. Rook to e8 after rook to d8. Or king to f7. Okay, he played this. Let's uh, give a check. And uh, rook to g5. Rook h6. That is checkmate. Okay. Nice game. Had a couple of good tactics there, but it's looking good. Okay, 0-0 zero, zero still playing that game, even though he berserked. He does have good chances, though. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much finished for black. Okay. Oh, this guy in second place is also streaming, so this will be interesting. <laughs> Pepe Lou. He also berserks everything. Hmm. I'm kind of waiting long for my next opponent. Oh, maybe I will play against 0-0. Zero, zero. Wait, what? Oh, he lost on time. Yeah, he lost on time. Because obviously he has a 0 and the game is there. So he just finished and I'm guessing I'm playing against him. No, I'm playing playing against somebody else. Oleg, 1974. Okay, let's take this one seriously. E3, C5. Very sharp. Very sharp. Let's, uh, in the style of the London, play this kind of a defensive setup and play bishop to D3 as always. Oh, I'm again with the white pieces, so... I'm going for, for this idea, okay. Let's give up the bishop here and play knight to e5. Knight to d2. Is knight to d2? Yeah, let's play knight to d2 actually. And here I'll play f3 on f5. Yeah. Rook to f3. b6. Or even better, yeah. Okay, bishop to c6. Rook g3. Okay, nothing is attacking the rook yet. So h5 isn't possible because of the queen, but knight to f6 does seem dangerous. Knight f3, knight f6, knight e5. Hmm, okay. I did went a little bit crazy into this one, also d5 is possible, not really actually because of the e3 pawn after he captures, so I do have a weak pawn here, so okay, capture, okay, yeah, almost pulled the trigger there, so let's play queen to b3, and go for this weak pawn, and also go out of the pin, because here obviously after knight to e5 he can capture simply, and then I cannot recapture because of the pawn, okay, the, the, the king goes out of the way. Let me think about the move such as this one. Not doing that much. Let, let's say so. Let's simply go for this and prepare d5. Yeah, but yeah, those d5 preparations don't look so good. So knight e 5 is obviously here a good move. So the idea would be to get rid of his bishop here because obviously placing the, the rook here 
was a bad move in itself. Um, now all sorts of threats are there. I mean, knight to h5 could be played, but you have to keep in mind that after knight to c6, both of the queen and the rook are attacked. So this will give me enough time to actually go to play rook to f3. And this bishop is very nice. So this remaneuvering to from d7 to c6 was a very good idea. So yeah, kudos for playing that. But uh, he played this and I do have to give up a knight for the strong bishop and let's just simply do that. Okay, rook to d5. Rook to d5 <clears throat> with the idea to double up and let me simply play the rook on the open file. Oh, okay. Interesting. After knight e4, I cannot play rook to f3 because of knight to d2 now. So that was, once again, not the best of ideas. So I have to play rook to h3. I do thread something now, so it is not uh, just a move. So let's see what he does. f4. Well, now I cannot lose this opportunity and not to take a whole queen. So yeah, that was, yeah, it was a simple mistake. I'm not in any terms better here. So this whole plan with the rook on g3 was totally stupid and uh, he could have punished me easily. But yeah, it is what it is. So for knight to g6, uh, yeah, the game is pretty much over. So let's just see what, what will happen next. So still eight minutes to go, which means that I have at least time to play one more. Or maybe if I berserk, I can play two more. Hmm. Zero, zero, zero. Torre attack, Blitz Arena. Personally, I've never, never played this opening um, because I don't play d4 and Usually people don't play the Torre attack against me. So not really knowing, uh, yeah, don't really know what, what happens in some of the variations there. But um, I just try to follow the general principles. Feminovsky and the guy berserked. I don't, yeah, it would be only fair if I berserked as well. So he's obviously going for, hmm, yeah, for a fast game in this one. So bishop to f5 and let's play bishop to d3 immediately. Bishop to g6 is probably the best here, but okay, this is also possible. And now I don't have the bishop pair. Let's play bishop to f4, knight h5. And okay, knight c6. Uh, knight b4 threats. Hmm, nothing too spectacular, I would say. I would like to play also c4. So a3 is a, is a possibility in knight to e5. So let's play a3, stop this now and maybe play knight to, knight to e5. Let's exchange this. Okay, not really giving up the bishop for the knight. f5, okay. We saw weaknesses on the e6 point. In the last game I played, so let's uh, try and go immediately for that side of the board. So, okay, here I'm developing quickly and also the idea will be knight a4. Okay, especially now with the queen here, knight a4, knight c5. This pawn is attacked, you have to capture it and now I think, yeah, simply capture with the with this pawn. Rook, rook comes here and uh, yeah, the the idea is pretty simple. Now at this point, uh, doubling up rooks, uh, this is a very weak pawn. I can simply recapture it with Ampassan. And I do have a bishop on this very strong diagonal. Okay, he he notices it as well. Yeah, rook to b2 is sufficient here. Let me pre-move this. Yeah, that was expected. I can also simply, if queen to d5, then e5, no. Does he want to give up the queen for for two rooks? That's the question. Do I want to do this? Let's play. 
uh, let's play h4, h3, h3. Don't don't want to go too wild there. With this one, <clears throat> g5. Okay, simply pawn capture. But oh, okay, I see what you did there. Let's play f4 ourselves. <clears throat> I mean, I, I guess after the rook comes on b7, I can simply... What if I play f5? Yeah, I can play f5 now. Great. Yeah, that uh, kind of simplified the position a lot. And this game is pretty much over, because now after rook to b7, queen b7, uh, this rook is pinned. This rook is pinned, and yeah. Okay, now this pawn is attacked, let me simply defend it and bishop to g5 okay let's uh, play something like this and queen captures and uh, bishop captures here and now rook to b6 f4 is possible but i will play king to f2 i think i'm okay then i will win at least another pawn here so let's okay let's come here rook d7 rookie Rook e7. Oh, okay. Okay, this pawns seem okay as well. So let's bring the king, as said. Yeah, this one is pretty much finished. Um, okay, bring the rook here. Rook e5. Yeah, should work. Um, defend this one, play g4. Have to play faster though. Play g5 here. Let's play g6. Let's play g7. Check and oh, okay. Come on, what did I just do? Sometimes I'm just going crazy. Now, this is so wrong. Yeah, I'll have to. Sorry. But I, I guess it's not giving me anything because I didn't really have enough time to <coughs> to do something here and probably the pairings will be stopped. Managed to come to the first place though. But yeah, the tournament pairings are closed. And okay, the Pepelu guy is playing, but he just started. Okay, he berserked. And zero zero guy, so maybe, maybe I just won this tournament. Oh, the zero zero finish. Okay, oh. okay, what happens now? Am I first? Did I in the end manage to win this tournament? You will forgive me if I wait for a minute and 35 seconds to see did I in the end did, yeah, just simply won this tournament. I had a clear game. I shouldn't have uh, gone and uh, you just simply do a stupid thing like that, but yeah, it is what it is. Okay, so well, let's let's see this game. Let's see what's happening. So not to just simply sit here. Okay, we have okay this Pepelu guy who is streaming and now with the black pieces uh, did lost lost pawn. I mean. This kind of a thing is is normal, let's say, in this kind of position, and uh, there is no need to play queen to ace. Okay, yeah, queen to a6 with queen to a4 to move the queen out of the way. Okay, but this guy is going sharp as well. Hmm. Can play knight to c5 now. Simply. Yeah, if the bishop attacks the queen, the queen can also go to e2. You can go g3 and bishop to bishop to g2 to develop the bishop. But okay, now now you're uh, playing with fire. The queen can go on a5. 
Hmm. But uh, the question is how to attack it. I mean, bishop to c8, queen b5, and queen a5. a6. Okay, this guy is going away from this idea. And yeah, the tournament pairings are closed. So let me... Um, so I guess this is how you go back to the to the tournament. Rook f4. Okay, I did win. So I, I don't know if it's appearing on the screen. I'm going to see it after half a minute. But I didn't win a Leeches tournament for a very long time on uh yeah for a very long time and so i did play only six games so yeah 22 57 i think there is another uh five plus oh coming up so let's check that one out but yeah i mean um when you're usually playing for this longer uh, for a longer time format with a longer for uh, time format uh, this kind of specific opening uh, tournaments then what happens is that the opponents aren't really that strong but i did didn't want to play five plus so at least somebody mentioned that maybe i should go with uh that maybe i should go with 10 plus so so switch to to rapid and there is actually a tory attack rapid tournament coming up so let's join that one so after winning the the blitz one let's see how we will go in the rapid one so currently i am in the first place so that is at least looking good we have a quote by hikaru nakamura the single most important thing in life is to believe in yourself regardless of what everyone else says well that is definitely true and i'm believing in myself that i can maybe go for this tournament as well it does uh take how much one hour and 57 minutes okay that's that's uh, definitely a lot of time i'm not so sure that i'm going to make this one happen so because it's 11 p.m p.m uh central european uh, european time and i have to work tomorrow so 30 minutes 30 seconds to go <clears throat> let's just see simply what will happen okay um yeah other than that yeah i haven't managed to yeah today just didn't simply manage to uh create any content like any end game videos nor did i play against an engine simply didn't have the time also over the weekend well wasn't streaming really so yeah i'm just uh if i do don't manage to do a video i just simply put on a stream and enjoy it and that's simply it okay playing against Elias Norton. I'm the first one on the move and as I've always been playing bishop to f5 Let's play it now as well. C4 is a sharp move that can be played. So Let's let's do it like this. Okay, bishop to d3. I guess Yeah, I could capture queen to d3 and then c6 has to be played because of queen to b5 Okay, let's play Let's play h6 first. Let's see if he wants to play bishop to h4. Okay, he wants. And now knight to e4. Possibly. Yeah, after after c4 definitely. So let's recapture here and pawn will capture the e-pawn. The e-pawn will capture knight c3 here. And let's play this. So if the knight captures, let's capture with the pawn. Okay, he doesn't want to capture just yet. Okay, and this is a rapid game. So I'm still in blitz mode. Um, 92, which means I can play f5 and recapture like this. If he plays f3, I'm going to play knight to d6. Okay, the knight goes back. Uh, let's put the other rook on the open file. And pretty standard stuff stuff i would say okay rook to c1 also he puts he puts the rook on the semi open file and now how to proceed with this one rook f6 yeah rook f6 seems nice with rook g6 okay the other knight comes here so obviously he uh, does want to go with the idea of 
capturing here on e4 and I don't blame him, but I will play g5. He also opens up the stage for the rook here. Okay, knight here, a3. Mm -hmm. The question is what happens after... Okay, after g4 he maybe plays... Okay, let's play the rook here first because Yeah, rook to g6, because after g4 I don't want to allow knight to h4. Yeah, he is uh, very keen on the attack here on this side of the board. I did allow <clears throat> a room for the knight here. Hmm, which I don't really like, to be quite honest, now that I think of it. But at least I will move this knight away and uh, be able to play knight to b6. Or knight to f6. Maybe better knight to f6. Yeah, I, uh, why why knight to b6? I was considering because I want to keep the open room for the rook here because obviously b5 is coming. But knight to f6 with knight to h5 will stop knight to f4. Let's keep the knight where it is, where it is. I mean, h5, h4 with g3, it's time to open up. So if he plays knight to f4, I will simply play rook to h6. And and yeah, continue with the pawn push. Okay, so um, we already have the first wins in. But okay, I guess everyone can blunder. I don't know how many people are in the tournament, but yeah. Currently is looking good. Okay, another knight. Okay, knight move. Um, I'm guessing here. Okay, knight f4 immediately. Now I would like to keep the rook on the g file, even though knight to h5 could be a move. But keeping the rook on the g file doesn't allow f3, for example. Sorry, f3 because of pawn capture. And also it will allow me at the g3 push. And after all these exchanges, still these pawns are protecting the e4 pawn and now the other knight can come into the game. So rook to g7, okay. Yeah, looks nice. After knight to h5, I can also play rook to g5. I don't want to play rook to g5 immediately because I want to uh, leave some room for the, for the, for the queen on g5. <clears throat> But okay, this is something that was expected. Okay, b5. How to handle this one? It wouldn't be great. Yeah, it just simply wouldn't be great if um, if I would simply allow the pawn capture because then rook enters the game and it's uh, game over, quite simply. So queen to d6 seems like the best move possible here, because if I play rook to c8, pawn captures, pawn captures, and knight to d5 is a possibility. And uh, still with the queen on d6, she is eyeing that that part of the board. So queen to d6 it is. But now I'm guessing queen to c2. Okay, first to capture, or maybe immediately queen to a6. Okay, with queen to a6. Um, knight to b8 is possible attacking the queen and also with the rook protecting the a7 pawn also protecting the c6 pawn and also not just knight to b8 but knight to b6 so let me check out knight to b6 first with the idea of knight to c4 because i like that a little bit better because the knight on b8 isn't doing anything i'm attacking the queen the queen can move back and now you just have the knight on b8 but with knight to b6 and knight to c4, you are uh, blocking the rook, and uh, here you are stopping the queen from attacking on this pawn. So let's play that. Still g3 is in preparation, and after knight to c4, I will have another attacker on the e3 pawn. Uh, this knight cannot go out, because uh, the knight can simply capture on d2, and yeah, all is good for now. Unless I'm missing something, of course. But I'm I'm feeling pretty confident. So let's see what Elias Norton 71 has in place for this game. 
Okay. A4 was expecting something like this, but uh, the idea doesn't really work. After knight to c4, there aren't really... Are there some rook sacrifices? I mean, he can sacrifice the rook, I can simply move the king to h7. So, I'm guessing not so much. Um, okay, if, um, if I play knight to c4, then what happens after rook to b1? Rook to b1, rook tries to enter the game, could cause some problems. And one other thing that I would like to consider is what happens here after, for example, if I play g3 immediately, then f3. Okay, if I play f3, then I will have to move the knight, and then knight to d2 is possible after the dust settles, let's say. Yeah. So is it good to play knight to c4 immediately? And then make it possible for... Yeah. Oh, well, this could be interesting. Yeah, maybe knight to c4 immediately, because then if he goes rook to... Okay, I, I'm not sure. So the problem is sometimes when, he, when I'm streaming, uh, people tend to go to the stream and actually listen to my ideas. But I'm guessing knight to c4 could be a useful move here. Immediately. Yeah. Let's play this immediately. And risk... I mean, if he wants, he can definitely sacrifice the rook here, but... Is he getting anything? I'm not so sure. King to h7. The problem will be that, okay, this whole idea of the attack is going out, but uh, yeah, I'm totally fine with that. Okay, now queen to c6 is a threat, and if I play rook to c8, obviously d5. If I move the rook, also the e6 square starts to be weak, and hmm. I'm simply thinking about uh, giving up, not giving up <laughs> entirely, but giving up the, uh, the, the, the pawn on c6, because the value of that pawn isn't too great, to be quite honest. But the question is, yeah, I can simply play rook to b7, I think. Oh, let's play rook to b7. So let's pre-move this. Okay, a5. Interesting. Okay, he didn't go immediately for this. Um, okay, now g3 comes into question. Okay, he played a5 probably because of rook to b4, but... Let's play the king closer a little bit. Not allow some checks. I mean, I'm allowing knight to h5, but knight to h5 isn't doing anything, so... Queen a6, that's something I was thinking that could happen because now, okay, now there is, now this becomes interesting. Now this becomes very interesting because quite simply, rook to c7, d5. Oh! No. Can I play rook to c7? Yeah, I'm not... <laughs> have to defend this pawn. I have to defend it. I don't see any other way. Yeah, okay. 
Rook to c7 is fine. I do have to think about the time. It is the first game. It is against, obviously, a stronger opponent. So I do have... Okay, he sacrificed this for activity, but uh, the position isn't clear. I do not have the increment, and this means that I will have to start to play faster, which means even playing c5 in the next move just to simply open up the position. But okay, it is what it is, so... What will he do? <clears throat> okay, d... oh, sorry for that. d5 was possible, but... Yeah, this is the only way how I saw that I can go out of this one. So I have to exchange queens and I have to survive knight to e6. It is just like that. I'll give up. I'll give up the the exchange back, but I will have. Um, okay, I will grab this pawn, but I will have two pawns here on the queen side. So that is something to go for in an endgame such as this one. It could be. It could be very valuable. So defend this pawn. Could I have played c4 immediately? No, I wanted to enter with the uh, with the king into the game immediately. Okay, now this is stupid. Yeah, this is this was very stupid of me playing like this. No, I cannot play c4 after rook to c1 because of rook to d4 and I could have played rook king to c4 because of knight to a5 so and if I play knight to e4 come on I cannot play rook to a6 as well okay so let's play this and after check king to e5 king to e5 yeah then there is no knight to d4 check. Okay, that makes much more sense than king to e6. Now we'll play c4 and capture the pawn on a6. Okay, c4 must be played. Knight d4 and rook to b6. This pawn is defended. It would be nice if the knights can be exchanged. Probably won't, won't like that, but... Whoa, what did I just do? What did I just do? What happens after c3? Do I have c3 at my disposal? No, I do not. Simply, I don't. Okay, now that was a stupid blunder to allow to, yeah, to simply allow moves such as that one. What to play now? Knights, but not possible. <laughs> King e4, he captures here simply, yeah, simply resign. Back to tournament. 33 rating points. Uh, it seems like. Yeah, this rapid doesn't suit me. Okay, the first one goes to the garbage. Okay, now that wasn't, yeah, the, the pawn wasn't clear. So sometimes you just want to go for the exchange and uh, when you go for the exchange, you kind of miss it. I miss the whole idea. So let's berserk this one and yeah, play bishop to f5. The idea that didn't fail Last time I did lose with the white pieces, so let's let's try not to lose with the black pieces. Okay, let's defend this pawn. I do have the bishop pair, but after bishop to d3, I will exchange. Pawn captures on d3. Okay, let's play f5 <laughs> to stop kind of this e4 move. Rook to e8, knight here and here. Pretty simple idea. Yeah, still feel, feeling a little bit. Yeah, 
not feeling too great about the loss in the last game. It, it could could have been a very nice start to the tournament, but these things happen. So, okay. Okay, obviously the knight captures. Let's move the bishop out of the way. This is an isolated pawn. So I'm thinking knight a6, knight c7 to stop the pro pushing of the pawn to d5 and focus all the efforts uh, to that pawn. Knight e5 is possible, probably was possible for the moment because the rooks weren't connected. It would be attacking the pawn, and I was maybe have to play rook to e1. Okay, so he is obviously preparing knight to g5. And uh, what's the best way to stop it? Simply play h6? Should be, right? Or I should maybe play g6 and play bishop to g7. Yeah, that seems like a nice idea. Since I've already played bishop to f8, let's let's reposition the bishop like this. Okay, this Elias Norton guy obviously won another one, another one. Okay, let's enter with the queen into the game. Try to speed things up a bit. Will he go with the rook on e1? There's a problem with the pawn here on e2. Oh, he goes immediately for this. Okay. Now, it is possible. Let's play a knight b4 and uh, capture here. The knight is bit, uh, protected by the bishop for now. Yeah, now focus all the efforts for this, on, yeah, onto this pawn. Which means not uh, exchanging rooks when rook comes to e1. So let's move the rook. Knight f4 could be a a very good resource. Uh, bishop to g7 definitely will. So okay, now he'll have knight to e5 with the support of two knights. And okay, this knight comes here, enters the game. Let's play knight to f4. So now this pawn is attacked and also this knight is kind of a problem because g3 is impossible. And also I'm threatening knight to e6. And when I said g3 is impossible because of knight to h3, but let me calculate king to g2, knight g5, and knight to e6 is simply okay. I'm allowed to play this. So let's just simply do it. <clears throat> f4, knight e6, and then this pawn is... Okay, now this is quite a simpler game. Let's capture with the bishop, now also attacking the pawn here. Okay, I can exchange the rooks. 96 and b6, knight c8, a5, oh, knight b7. Where will the knight go? Now that's the question. Yeah, the, the king cannot come close. Let's capture this knight. Let's capture this pawn and this one's gone. This one's gone, man. This is a simple win for a simple man. So let's push this pawn. Okay, Grubby, 2007. First win in the Rapid Tournament. Yeah. Okay, back in ninth place. Okay, we have a guy who has already four games in, four wins, and does play against the third guy, so... Yeah, the tournament is heating up. <clears throat> yeah, only two games played and already 25 minutes of the... Or how many? 22 minutes of the tournament gone. That is something. So these rapid tournaments uh, do 
lasts a long time, but you don't get in too many games. Just in order to catch up with the, yeah, with the leading guys in the tournament, I'm going to berserk the last, the next one. Alexander X. So let me play bishop to f4 here, not allow him to win my bishop. And then just simply continue the game. Yeah, knight e4 seems like, and I think it is the, the main line. c5 is like very sharp now. But I will simply play e3, so no worries there. Alexander X. Okay. People don't like to say where they're from. I, I proudly say that I'm from Croatia. But yeah, not, a, not everybody wants to do it. But this guy is obviously playing a lot on leeches. Have ratings in every point. Bishop to d3. Okay, bishop on f5. c4 was maybe better. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. Sorry. Bishop to b4 with threats here. I would have to play knight from b to d2. And I don't like that kind of a setup. So, yeah. Currently. Mm, okay. Let's play c3. Okay, the bishop is protected by the queen, so no worries there. Uh, the knight comes on c6, and now the question is when, when to capture on c5, or should I capture on c5? Knight from b to d2 isn't an option because then knight to f2 is possible, and bishop then after captures on, on d3. Hmm. Yeah. Let's play knight to e5. Okay, the idea being that I want to play f3 because this knight on e4 does look good for him and I want to get rid of this knight. Okay, the pawn is attacked here. Don't want to capture this one because rook to g8 and then the g file is open. And that doesn't make sense. And okay, he goes castles and this allows me to play f3 and that after that bishop to f5. So I will mess up his pawn structure just for a little bit. So knight f6. I'm guessing if knight to d6, then I can actually capture the pawn. So yeah, I think that uh, knight to f6 is necessary. Cannot defend this bishop, so yeah, don't don't want to pre-move this, but yeah, that's the general idea. Is f6 maybe possible though? So if he plays f6, then I can play bishop to f4. Yeah, bishop to f4, g5, and then capture. You want to make him push as many pawns as possible in front of his king. Okay, so I said that I can capture here on c5, and I will do just that. He will capture here now, okay. And if I capture here, and he captures here, and I capture here, queen captures, I capture here, I do have two pieces for the rook. And if I capture here, I can captures, I can capture also, he can capture, capture. He moves the bishop away, I move the bishop away. So yeah, this kinda, kinda works, so. Let's go for it. Okay, he wants to give up two pieces for the rook because obviously now the queen is under attack. You have to capture it. Uh, let's capture with the queen. Let's capture with the queen. Two pieces for the rook. Looking good. And uh, how many pawns? Yeah, that's an equal amount of pawns. Having two pieces for the rook does present a major advantage. So I will definitely use this one. If I play bishop to d4 after e5, my bishop is lost. So bishop to g3 is the only move that makes sense in this position. So what I want to do is keep, yeah, 
keep the possibilities open. So queen to d3 defending this pawn. Knight to d2 with knight to b3 will be an idea. Of course, if queen to b6, we'll have to stop that one for a moment, like with queen to d2 maybe. Yeah, queen to b6 could be could be a good move, but okay, he didn't play it immediately, so I have time to play knight to d2. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> knight to b3 comes with a tempo, and I can even think about playing queen to d4. Okay, I did berserk this game, but I managed to spend only a minute and a half. I did start with 2090, something like that. It was, and now I am on 2058. Not that rating measures anything, but yeah, just an interesting observation. E4 could be a move. D4 is impossible, just loses on the spot. I mean, you can say that objectively this is better, but yeah, okay, this is, it, I said it is possible, but um, that it's good, I'm not so sure. Because now the queen enters on D4, it's a very strong piece, uh, and I wouldn't advise for him to exchange queens. If he exchanges queens, then rook enters, or maybe even knight. Yeah, why not play knight to d4? Knight to e6 is the threat, if, even if he captures knight to e6, so... Yeah. That's the problem. That's the problem when you have the knight. So he can capture, but I will capture here. I will give up at we once again a pawn, but that's a clear piece now, and yeah. Here, let's... Should I pre-move now? Yeah, king to g2. This pawn will... Can be defended, okay, not not like this. But yeah, e4 could have e4 could have been played on rook to d8. Okay, now that is that is nice. Okay, but I have c4, so okay. C4, let's capture with rook if he wants. I give up a rook here, but he doesn't. Um, let's enter the game with the rook. Okay, now let's play b3. If he attacked the rook, then I would capture multiple times, but this way, no. I still win a pawn because he cannot defend here because of the bishop. But I will have a nice pass pawn here. Okay, let cap let's capture this simply. If he allows me to capture this pawn, then this pawn is very far, far ahead. Okay, rook to a7, and now... What is the best way to play this? Um, okay, this pawn is attacked. Let's let's bring the rook behind it and then start pushing simply. Yeah, okay, looking good. So rook to c two, rook to b two, a four, b four. Yeah, the the king is very far away. I also have another piece which is definitely helpful. Okay, a nice little check, but not really doing anything. Rook g5, let's play a4. h4, rook g2, I can play king to d3 to defend the rook, so no threats there. Hmm. Rook g4, now a5 is possible. Rook b4. Um, okay, this is nice. a6. Capture on b3, rook to a2. He cannot play rook to b8 because of the bishop. So now a7, a8 is unstoppable and he will have to give up. If I play this, yeah, I can simply give up the, the bishop and now I will have the queen because once again now the rook cannot come to b8 because of the pawn. So yeah. If there, if there's a good time to resign in a chess game, it should be now. But of course, my opponent still has three and a half minutes on the clock. Alexander X. 
But yeah, after this one, we simply move on. Hour and 25 minutes to go. Did lose the first one. Yeah. But those things happen. Okay. What's there to think about? Okay, I think I would like to play against this guy, Elliot. How do you pronounce that? Elias? 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 Norton, once again. To get a, a rematch for that game, uh, which we played yeah, first. But did I have the... No, I had the black pieces, so it would be nice to play with the white pieces against him. But, yeah. So now in sixth place, with two berserks. And yeah, we will see simply. How did this guy manage to play already this many games? But he decided to <laughs> leave the tournament after winning six points from eight games. Eight games! So even, okay. So I don't know if he won these two, but... Okay, ah, okay, I think it's... If it's green, that's, then it's a win, but if it's a grade two, then it's a draw. Vertic. Okay, let's berserk this one as well. Bishop to f4 here. Don't want to give up the bishop and let's just use the same idea with the white pieces previously. Okay, this one plays g6. Um, okay, so definitely want to defend this pawn, but g6 is kind of strange for this setup. Mm. Yeah, let's attack here immediately. What can I expect after g6? Okay. c6. Okay, I was also expecting c5. But obviously, my opponent here is also playing it a little bit safe, and now. I really want to think about this situation here. I want to play h4, but h5 seems to stop it really well. And not really possible to play g4. Knight e5 cannot prepare it. f6 is also available. e4 could be dangerous to push with ideas bishop to h6. And g4. Yeah. So already spending some time on the clock but it's very important to make a decision this early in the game do i want to go queenside castle and play a very sharp game with the tax no i will just yeah i'll just simply go and let's say that my end game skills are kind of kind of good enough for this one so let's transfer the battle on the queen side hmm Because I'm not buying it, this bishop on g7 stuff. Yeah. Let's play c5 as well. Hmm. Good work. Okay, the bishop is there. Let's play the rook on the c file. Don't not. I do not intend to capture b five. Could be interesting though. Hmm. Okay, let's open up the A file. And now the master of the A file. Whoa, that's a, that's a terrible blunder. Oh, I mean, I can't see how could one play it. I mean, this bishop is a danger here, a major danger. I would put it on d6 if it would meant knight to h5. But okay, I don't think that it makes sense for this guy to continue playing this game. But obviously he will do it, so... 
Yeah, okay. Rook a1. Okay, I, I don't know why he, why is he still playing. It is not clear after this recaptures what to do, but I do... Yeah, the plan was to put pressure on this file. And when the queen moves, I can play rook to a5, so at least that. But <clears throat> no, it's just... I don't know if he's trying to win on time or... I don't know what is he doing, but... This should be over pretty soon, this knight is pinned. Which means the bishop cannot move from the defense of the knight. And the rook is here, so move that one. But if you move that one, then... Yeah, the bishop is under attack. Bishop to e8 is kind of kind of a the best move here. Now this is also possible. Yeah, I mean okay, knight e4. Whatever, wherever he plays the knight, I will simply capture. Don't really have to think about. Yeah. This bishop will fall if king to f8, knight e7. The king has to go back because the bishop is eyeing the e7 square. Do you want to cover with the bishop? No. Okay, back to tournament. Hey Zinovich. Yeah, me too. Uh, the more the merrier, as always. Okay, now with 11 points. Third place. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, so now, now it's looking a little bit better with four games in, waiting for the fifth one. Still not an hour on the tournament. I'm not so sure that I'm going to finish up with this one. You will forgive me to um, if I stop in the middle, but uh, yeah, as I've said, it's so it's already 12, 20 minutes to 12, so 12 o'clock. So how do you say 12? Uh, um, 12, no, you don't say 12 p.m. You say midnight. <laughs> uh, okay, what is this one? C4 immediately, okay. Transferring into some sort of a... Slav here with the bishop on f5, queen b3, queen b6. Yeah, kind of know this one better, but okay, going immediately for that one. That is fine. Yeah, uh, it is a little bit late, and I do have work tomorrow, so would really like to go to bed soon. Okay, now this this one is protected. It does have the bishop pair, so it, it seems like this way of setting up the Tory attack does prove to be a little bit better than the rest. I don't like castling with the idea of having the h file open. What happens after capture bishop c4 e5, queen b3? Yeah. Not so happy about that one either. So let's castle just to go on a safe place. And now with the support on the f7 square I can capture here. Bishop has to capture and now pawn. But okay, though there are some stuff that are possible. That there are some things that are possible. It's always good to push e5 at some point. Have to be careful of queen to c2. This pawn is pinned and uh, could be become a, uh, yeah it could become a target. So the position isn't clear, but I would say that I am the worst. Okay, so definitely I would say the worst side. I'm the worst side. He has the bishop here. I have the double pawns. But uh, nothing is lost, so I'm looking towards the end game. Playing against Valdi, eighty, and he plays rook to rook to e1, which means I play queen to c7, and which means he plays what? Rook to c1, 
F4. Okay, man. Have to capture that one. Have to capture that one and have to capture that one. So, no, F4 was really a dubious move. This move gets rid of his bishop pair, does give me a pawn, and quite, quite clearly is a terrible blunder. So, don't know what, what was the idea there. Okay, he does have rook to e7, but I played this rook to e8. So, yeah, don't want to... Don't want to give up this one. This pawn is kind of looking weak. You cannot push d5 because you lose the bishop on c4. Um, what else is possible? If you move the queen from the defense of this pawn, I can capture with a check. So yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem like white has a lot of good options. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm really wondering what what should white play. It's not it's not all that clear. Yeah, there is no. I mean, queen to d3 pos is possible. But okay, yeah, I was expecting something like this, but I do give a check, and I can play this rook to e to the e file. So still, the threats are on the board. It doesn't really matter if he plays rook to f2 or king to h1 or king to h2, I will play the rook here. And uh, yeah. But I mean, do I have to play the rook to e8? Maybe I can just simply play knight to b6. Attack the knight and transfer the knight to d5. Yeah, that looks better. I mean, I do have time to play the rook on e5, and you never know, maybe I should play the rook on d8. So, let's play knight to b6. So knight to b6 seems like an idea. It attacks the bishop. The rook will be on the f-file, sacrificing the rook for the knight. Doesn't look too good. So when the bishop moves, I can play rook to d8, put pressure on this pawn. Yeah, that's, that's a wholesome plan, and uh, this is the one I'm going for. Okay, so, Waldi. Waldi is taking a long, long thing here. So probably he should have thought about it <laughs> when he played f4. Okay, rook to f f2. So this one is also interesting. Bishop to f1. Let's play a rook to d8 as as said. So now God only knows how to defend this pawn. But there is that is not all. If the knight moves, knight to e4 is possible. The and to think about, is there actually a good way how to move this knight away from the defense? Yeah, that, that's a question. So, okay, he obviously goes for this. I would like to enter with the rook into the game. I mean, is there any threats here? I'm not, I'm not seeing any. 92 queen b3 so now when the knight moves the queen will be attacked so i will have to yeah here okay okay i see now i understand okay if i capture with the queen then rook to d1 would be a threat and now when i capture with the rook knight to e2 is the threat i can capture pawn captures and attacks this pawn and that, yeah that's pretty dangerous that's pretty dangerous. So rook to d3. Yeah, let's play rook to d3. Rook to d3 is much, much better than capturing and it also protects the rook. And now when the queen moves, knight to e4. So now that the knight moved, it does look better. So let's simply play that. The queen is not under attack. The, the rook is not under attack. So all is well. Okay, when the knight moves, uh, the, the rook will be attacked by the bishop as well. So I can capture on f2. And the good, I, the good thing is that if he captures, so 
For example, knight is c3, I can capture on f2, and if he captures on d3, I can capture with the knight, and that is with a check. So, indeed, I will win a piece here. Okay, knight to d3. Wasn't expecting it, but uh, just like after knight to c3, I do see I have rook to d2 here. A rook to d2, even a better move, and then I kind of force him to play queen to e4. Capture the knight and, and the rook. And do I want to go for this? I'm not really liking this uh, to give up a knight and a rook for a queen. I would much, ra much rather to capture here simply. Queen captures, queen captures, rook gives a check, picks up on a b2. And yeah. Yeah, after rook to d2, if he doesn't give up the queen, he. Oh, no. Wait. Queen e4, queen f2. And then I pick up the bishop. Yeah, rook to d2, sorry. Almost missed that one. So it is always. So this is why I like playing rapid or a little bit longer games, because there is always time to think about the possible options. And yeah, this guy knows when it's time to resign. After rook to d2, there is no way to go back into this one. Okay, in first place now, after berserking a lot. But yeah, the, uh, the guy in the second place, Koto, Koto Matsukami, 5, is already in a very good position. I see the king. Okay, he does have the exchange, but uh, the black king is... Wait, is it checkmate? But that's... I'm not... Am I seeing... Some? No, he... Can, oh, sorry. Yeah, he can capture on h4. And after capturing on h4, knight to g2, king g5... Um, f4, no, what am I thinking, okay, yeah, after queen t2, king h4, rook h6, it's, it's pretty much finished. Okay, making Romano, so continuing with the berserk, until someone uh, demolishes me in the variation when I play bishop to f5, I'm going to keep on playing it, so today I didn't lose a game, lose a game with this one. So let's just simply continue. C4 does seem very sharp, and it, uh, yeah, as we seen, saw in the last game, it does provide white a lot of opportunities, but here this guy opts out for knight to c3. The knight to c3 does stop the c4 idea immediately. And this is where, yeah, knight to c3, I mean, it is possible. Let's play c6 before going to h6 because after bishop to f6, queen f6, yeah, the queen does go a long way. But uh, now after this, I'm sensing that probably he's going to go kingside castle. So I do want to open up the h file. So now it's a little bit different, a little bit of a different situation than in the last game. I mean, yeah, you can do that, but still the the pieces here are attacking a pawn in the end but 95 yeah definitely not a bad move okay should i capture with the pawn capture with the pawn here pawn captures open up the h file yeah, let's capture with the pawn, because knight on c3, you lose a valuable two tempos if you want to move the knight and push to c4. Which gives me an opportunity to maybe go queenside castle. So let's ex explore this idea. Pawn captures here two, ch two choices. Yeah, capture the bishop or capture the knight. So he opted out for this. I will still play bishop to d6. So I would advise him not to go kingside castle now because obviously it would be suicide open up yeah opened um yeah the the, the the h file is open and everything but now after queen to d2 i'm seeing bishop to b4 a3 queen to a5 the rook is unprotected and i will create a problem here on the with this pawns after all these exchanges i can play knight to b6 and stop c4 altogether so let's go for the end game. It seems to be better and uh, it should be good to take advantage of that. So I'm guessing, oh, okay. 
Okay, this is even. Yeah, this goes even further into this one. Uh, this knight cannot go anywhere. A3 is possible, of course, but then I simply will capture here. There is no good way how to support this. Knight to b6 uh, will be the next move. There are no sacrifices, at least I don't see. So now knight to b6. And now we should find a good way how to proceed here. Okay, yeah, that's that's always good. Enter with the king towards the center of the board and now king to d6, c5. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do I have here? Pawn captures, bishop captures, knight c4 check and knight to a3 attacks the rook. The problem is the pawn on b7. Yeah, let's defend this guy. Okay, now c file is open. Okay, now I have a clear plan. I'll try to exploit the weaknesses of his pawns here. I mean, he still has the bishop, so the game is not over. But uh, there is a clear plan here to definitely go with the with the attack on the c file. Let's play this rook, then rook to c7 to defend this pawn. C4 immediately. I will capture with the pawn. Could have captured with the knight, bishop captures, rook captures, and then rook captures on b7. So didn't want to go into that that whole idea. Here after, for, for example, bishop to e4, I'm going to play rook to rook to here. This pawn will be defended. Okay, he he does want to keep the attack on this pawn. Okay, still a uh, rook to c7. The idea of defending the spawn is very important. C3 now, I would, yeah, would be probably a good idea to try and squeeze in a C3. Because, I mean, knight to d5 isn't possible immediately because uh, rook could capture on C4. But now after bishop to f3, that is very much possible. And I should really start playing a little bit faster because it's uh, 2 2.42 on my clock. C3, interesting. <laughs> kind of sounded like my idea. <clears throat> G4. Whoa, that's a, that's a strong statement right there. Okay, let's undouble the pawns. Play f5, bishop f3, rook h3. I'm kind of dancing around with the with the rook, but it pays off in the end because king goes to e2, bishop has to go to g2, and that's another pawn. That's another pawn, and this one is much more important. Hmm. And uh, this this pawn is hanging as well. If you push it, I can play rook to b3. Yep. Have to capture, or rook b1, then I capture on b1, capture on a4, and allow capture on b7. I would really like to exchange because with two pawns in such an endgame, with no clear um, counterplay on his side, it's, I should say, e easy to win this one. Okay. Move the knight away. This pawn can be attacked through b1, but rook c2 gives a check first. 
Okay, he isn't going for that one. I mean, also knight to f4 was possible, so... Okay, and now you lose the bishop, and this should be the game. This should be the game, but uh, as... As per experience, it doesn't seem like my opponent wants to resign here. But he is in a very, very problematic situation. Okay, but I cannot seem to checkmate him. Even if I play a four king and go out of on out of it on e4. So let's simply grab another pawn. Okay, the king cannot go anywhere, but there are still pawns that can move. If he moves this pawn, g3, g2. If he goes here, b2. So what's it gonna be? Okay. That's a knight and three pawns. Hmm. Okay, Mr. Koto Amatsukami did win that game, but yeah, that was obvious and that was checkmate in two moves. I don't know if he had a bad case of a guy trying to make his time run out, but yeah, sometimes that happened. Okay, making Romano, king to c4, going crazy with the king. Um... Okay, all the way to b5, I'm guessing a6 now, so let's remove this. Okay, knight to c3, a terrible, terrible, yeah. Yeah, sometimes I just miss those. I can simply capture and... Can I play... b6? First, yeah. Th that seemed like the fastest way without a lot of calculation. Okay, finally it's back to tournament. What do we have? We have 21 points, a lot of berserks, and I think I didn't berserk the first one, so the point here is to don't berserk at all. Uh, no, berserk them all. <laughs> Just berserk them all. Okay. What what is this kind of pairing is crazy? So the the second guy is playing against the seventy eighth guy. Okay, it's kind of interesting. But okay, I think I can squeeze one game in more. Um. But it's very difficult to leave from the tournament when you're in first place. So that is for sure a very difficult thing to do. With 57 minutes to go with being on fire. So three points ahead of Koto Amatsukami. Um, yeah, the tournament is looking good. The third guy only has 13 points and it isn't on fire. And uh, as I'm seeing on this uh, with this uh, rapid tournament, yeah, it takes a lot of time to go. For a game so if you lose a fire at some point it probably doesn't make sense to go back into the tournament because yeah it does take a long time to get back in but okay playing against Bogolub maybe some Bogolub fan and he doesn't want to give up the bishop for the one on d3 and that's fair that is also a good way to go but I'm still going with my Kind of a uh, similar to the yeah uh, London London opening now with this very very nice setup here and uh, now the question is how to capture here I'm guessing pawn from e3 could be nice and let's play queen to b3 now knight to e5 could be also possible especially after yeah especially after rook to e1. One thing to be careful about is knight to e4. Okay, so if knight to e5 immediately, knight e5 pawn captures, where to go with the knight? Hmm. 
on d7. Back on d7, trying to attack this pawn. Bishop p7, queen e7, f4. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking that's that's a good thing. If he doesn't capture the knight to c6, now after playing b6, there is a nice hole here. So going to try to take advantage of that one. Mm, let's just simply pre-move this. I was con looking at what happens if um, knight on e4, but I can simply capture the knight. Yeah, with the knight on e4 and things are looking okay. So as I said, bishop to e7. Oh, okay. When you don't calculate long enough, it does. It could pre create some problems for you. So what could be an issue if i play f4 immediately here if i play f4 immediately knight to c5 but then bishop to b5 and yeah f4 is okay and why why is particularly f4 a nice move here well it does create a possibility of playing g4 and f5 or does it Okay, I do have some pawns here, but I'm not really sure about my position after all this. Okay, the bishop is attacking here. Bishop pawn, pawn captures rook on the open h file. And yeah. If I move, then this bishop on this diagonal is very looking very, very nice. But what if I play... What if I play f5 immediately? Pawn cat... Uh, if there are captures with rook on f5... Uh, no, I'm thinking more... More like opening up the, the position. Okay, have to think about the time. Open up the position, don't really want to capture on e5, that's for sure. Okay, if I play f5, he plays knight e5, I can capture here and then threaten to capture on f7 with a check. So if he captures here, I capture, pawn captures, queen d5. If he captures on e5, I will play a rook e1. If he doesn't, then I will play knight f3, defend the pawn, and he will have a problem here. I'm sold. So f5, and after all this calculation, if it doesn't work out, yeah. <clears throat> It is what it is, but you have to try and always play something. So here, yeah, knight to c5 is met with queen to b5 check and then capturing the bishop. But um, for now, this looks okay. So I said after knight to d3, I will capture on f7 with a check. Or, why am I saying that? I can simply play... Oh, if he captures knight d3, I have queen b5. I pick up the knight. Yeah, and rook to f7 is even better. Playing rook to f7 attacks the queen. The queen has to move out of the way, and the problem is... Oh, but there is queen to c5. Yeah, he should have played queen to c5 first. So I will give a check and pick up, pick up the knight here, having a piece for how it will be two pawns, but uh, yeah, that's a piece, so. And the king is still in the, yeah, the king will be in the in the center, but. Okay, so, he still wants to play this game, obviously, when you berserk, people always try to win on time against you, so let's play c4 and try to open up the position immediately with, this um, king can go to h1, there are no risky sacrifices, yeah, let's go to h1 on h, yeah, no sacrifices on h3, and uh, yeah, okay, so let me also, rook to f7, no tricky checks, 
knight to b3 was possible to pick up this pawn, but this pawn seems much more important. Now there is also queen to g6. I mean, the this guy is, yeah, totally opened up, and now the rook can move with the check. Yeah, two minutes will be enough to win this one. what to do hmm. okay let's capture this one threaten to capture here was that the best move i don't know we will see um okay give a check once now let's uh, let's enter with the knight into the game. The queen is attacked, and where will the queen go? C4, knight e6, or somewhere somewhere else. Okay, queen c6. Let's play knight f6. Now attacking the rook. So that was the point. Yeah. Was queen to d4 better? That's that's a question. Queen e8, queen d4. Yeah, the, the king cannot go anywhere, so queen to d7 is the only move, and this is checkmate. Okay, that's another win. Very nice. Um, still in first place, Koto Amatsukami. How is this guy standing? 22 points. He had... Okay, he didn't berserk the last one, so... Had only 4 points. It would be nice to play against him and then see... I don't know. If I win, then... Uh, I think it's pretty much... That uh, the tournament is pretty much finished. And if I lose, then... Uh, yeah, I'll just finish up and... Yeah, give him the first place. But now when I'm playing against other people, it, yeah, it would feel bad. Yeah, he played one game less than me. And uh, yeah, I'm berserking every game and I really don't like, yeah, this thing. And yeah, it seems like my prayers have been answered. And I'm playing with the black pieces, with, which means bishop to f on f5 is on the board. And this guy plays correctly, so playing this whole setup. Okay, so now this is the game, and queen to b3. As I mentioned, uh, I will play queen to b6. Okay, c5, okay, this guy is the whole game. The whole nine yards is, as they would say, I think they say it like that, the whole nine yards. Okay, and now that's that's the thing. That's the thing, the problems on the queen side, and I should somehow resolve those. What happens if... Yeah, what happens if knight captures on c3, pawn captures on c3, and... Uh, the bishops are looking good here on this diagonal and this one on this diagonal this this one will try to attack and probably play b4 b5 capture here play bishop to a6 but what i would like to do is try to yeah my plan would be to try to play e5 as soon as possible and what happens after e5 well after e5 the thing is that i close this whole thing for him and if he captures i can capture on c5 so that would be the idea for me okay e5 is it possible now not really because now he can capture without having any issues with that 
but I can play g5, bishop to g3, g4, and then play e5. Of course, if he plays knight to h4, then... Yeah. Let's play g5. I mean, there's no time to waste. He is al already doing something here on this side, but I'm going to try to play on this side of the board. So now h5, obviously h4 is threatening to not not really, yeah, not, I'm not really winning a piece because there is obviously bishop to d6 available, but I am kind of provoking h3. The issue is though that I cannot play g4 immediately. And if I play bishop to g7 to try e5, then he can play bishop to d6. So, what to do? This whole plan with a, yeah, this, if I play h4, bishop to h2, g4. And then just simply trying to open up the king side since he is obviously trying here on the king side the whole issue is that i can can i play a6 if i play a6 b5 is still available pawn captures and then bishop on b5 this knight is he's not looking that great so what is the best way to stop on b5 here hmm. okay let me think about this one a little bit h4 g4 Bishop g4 and then, yeah, I play g4 here, okay, I'll play h4, hmm, bishop g7, yeah, now the, this, this is the moment to make the decision. Hmm. I play g4, he can capture and I can play bishop to g4 immediately, yeah but still. Okay, let's say bishop to g7, and I cannot play a5, e5 because of this, so yeah, h4 it is h4 it is, bishop to h2, and uh, let's play g4. Um, g4, pawn captures, bishop captures, bishop to e2. And then even h3. Yeah, why not? As long as I'm threatening something here, then he won't be doing anything here. Bishop to d3. Okay, curious. Okay, obviously bishop here is the threat. But should that be considered? I mean, I can move the king to d8. It does seem a little bit mm, not so good. I mean, yeah, the, the, the king will look a little bit bad, but... Yeah, h3 obviously here is quite, quite good because pawn cannot capture bishop will capture on f3. 
So bishop to f1 will be forced. So I'll allow him to play bishop to g6. I'll simply play king to d8. Not king to e7 because of bishop to d6, but bishop to g6, yeah. <clears throat> I'm not not seeing it really. So bishop to f1 here is a necessary move, I think. Oh, actually it isn't. No, it isn't. He can simply move. Can he simply? Yeah, he can simply. What is this? Pawn captures. Well, he could have moved the bishop, but okay, bishop to f3 and what now? Am I missing something? Whoa. Okay, that that was not what I expected. So he just went castle, and the g file is open. Okay, man. Let's capture this one. Okay, the king cannot move, and if bishop moves, then rook h1 is checkmate. So, yeah, I really don't know what's the, the whole idea. Okay, b5, now I'm not even worried. Let's uh, think of a quick way how to win this one. Um, yeah, king f7. Pawn captures, pawn captures. Rook a6, and this is... Look at this. Can I play bishop to d6? If I play bishop to d6, pawn captures, I give a check. Yeah, the bishop is attacked. So bishop to d6 is looking nice. A finishing move. Okay, rook g8 gives a check now, and uh, you have to cover with the, with the bishop. If you move the bishop, rook h1 is checkmate. So, yeah, that's a pawn. Bishop here and rook h1. I mean, bishop g6 is also possible, but simply rook to g6. That's it. <clears throat> Back to tournament. Yeah, I, I really don't know what was the whole idea with this, but it just went off like he had so many better moves. Okay, 38 minutes to go, still on fire. Um, now I managed to, yeah, beat the second guy but we do have now a couple of guys that are already in the third place so leaving the tournament just yet wouldn't feel all that safe so for winning the first place so let's just try and uh, yeah try and win another one and yeah let's just see Pablito 100 as it always is okay bishop to f5 the same idea I had I had in the last game. Okay, here's the guy in the fourth place. So let's simply see how will he play this one. Okay, he plays knight to c3 and bishop here. I'm guessing bishop to d3. Yes. Okay. Let's castle and e4. Yeah, e4 seems like a pretty reasonable move here queenside castle okay well that means only one thing you know i'm going for the queenside attack immediately especially after a3 now b4 is coming with a tempo and knight to b6 uh, knight to d7 to b6 to c4 okay he is transferring the knight now it's time for the knight to enter the game and yeah i don't want to push b4 immediately because of a4 but now Oh, okay. Mm, I see, I see. Okay, pawn captures, pawn captures in there. Okay, knight to b6 still. Okay, I have to be careful about now these knight to g5 ideas. Okay, he plays g4 as well so it's time to put for me to push still a4 seems like uh, like the way to go okay man I, I'm not sure about this one pawn captures opening up the a file yeah okay let let me capture simply knight to c4 
seems to be quite enough. Is B3 the only move that saves you? Okay. Um, okay, um, obviously in the, okay, I can give a check by king to d2 and I don't see that I have anything, so I'm just thinking of a good way how to continue this attack. It would be nice to put the knight, for example, on b5 or, hmm. Tight. Yeah, it, it seems that it's time to open up even more, but open up even more, playing c5 does allow his nice knights to come to d4. So, trying to think of a clever way how to do this. Okay, let's play queen to e7 first. Okay, g5, true, it is possible. Let's, uh, yeah, transfer the knight back. If he wants to capture, yeah, let's do this. And then with knight e4, yeah, it would be pretty much game over. But if he doesn't want to capture, okay, he doesn't also. Okay. Yeah, the problem is this king to d2. Cannot really wrap, wrap my head around that one. Don't see any checkmate ideas yet, so I'm going to play c5. I'm a little bit living on the edge here. I do have to think about my time, so let's play knight to c5 if he captures. If he doesn't, c4 and that's it. But yeah. Okay, let's capture with the knight. Once again, I said knight to e4. Even if he captures the pawn, knight e4. So, knight g5, okay. Uh, should I play c4 now? Yeah, that's that's a question. No threats here. So c4, pom pom. Rook comes to c8. Then it becomes dangerous for him. Yeah, let's play this. Let's open up the position even more. His king is opened up. The queen will have to go away, maybe even on f5. I don't know. It will be an interesting one. Um, yeah, rook comes to c8. Rook a3 is also a threat. What will he play? Queen to f5 or queen to c4? If he plays queen to f5, then I have a nice little gem for him. If he plays queen to c4, I'm playing rook to c8. Oh, there's a challenge. Somebody wants to challenge me on Lee Chess while I'm waiting here. I barely know the rules. A guy wants to play a casual game, <laughs> a casual bullet, 2300 uh, rating points, but he barely knows the rules. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, Pablito. Okay, Pablito does have seven minutes on the clock. Okay, the guy didn't spend during this time this whole time, the amount of time I did, and I berserked. So, okay. Oh, Kota Matsakumi did win also a berserked game. But okay, let's see. I mean, obviously, besides, I'm not seeing any other good moves besides those. And I think that two minutes in this kind of a position is enough to win the game, but it's up to him. Hmm. Okay, he is in fourth place currently. Okay, yeah, that that is something that I was expecting, kind of. No threats here on f7. Queen back to d3. Okay, rook to a3. 
queen of five. Yeah. Queen of five, I have to play queen to c7 to defend the rook and then continue with the onslaught. I'm just, yeah, I think. I don't think that there are still. There are still no checkmate threats, at least I do not, I do not see him. Knight h7, go. I can simply capture. Knight f7, I can simply capture with the king. If the knight moves somewhere else, I can capture. And if the queen captures on f6, queen to c2 is checkmate. So, I think I've managed to think about everything, barely. And he goes king to d2, which means b3. Opening up even more. Bishop to b4 is now one of the possible moves as well. So let's play it immediately. So not to allow the king to run away. And I think this is game. So on king to d3, queen to c2 is checkmate. On king to d1, rook to a1 is check and uh, checkmate. So yeah, okay, another one goes down and how many points do we have? 35. Still a tenor in front. So we managed to get rid of this guy from fire. But okay, we also have one other guy who is undefeated, Yusuf 2016. With 24 points and going with fire, yeah, he could be a, poten a potential danger. Which means that once again, <laughs> I don't want to really go away. Uh, and giving up. Giving up a win from the tournament this early. Oh, okay. Could have, could have I sacrificed the queen on e5. The queen on e5, I'm not really sure. I'm looking at the position at which point. Queen on e5. Pepelo, another... Okay, now the two of us are, are streaming and, and berserking, which is nice. I don't think I could have sacrificed the queen on e5. Okay, we probably wrote a comment a little bit before. I didn't really pay attention. But uh, now I know who is. I barely know the rules. So, hello, yeah, yeah, what is this? This is some active play, h5, did I play this completely wrong? Or is this some variation? I'm definitely going queenside now. <laughs> Let's play h4. Okay, g4 immediately. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. Seems like I've jumped already into some crazy variation. But okay, yeah, it is what it is, so. Hmm. Okay, now 95 was a definite problem. But okay, let's... Uh, should I play knight to c3? Knight d7 now? Hmm.
Okay. Hmm. Yeah, uh, obviously I've blundered something in this. So for the, for the first time with the white pieces, I have blundered something. And um, yeah, this is why I'm silenced. <laughs> Uh, don't really know how to go out of this one. Um, hmm. It's, yeah, it's quite interesting. Let me, yeah, let me move the knight like this, and on bishop to g3, don't allow his queen to enter the, the game so far. So let's play this. And yeah, let's play it like this. King goes to c2. I did lose a pawn, but the king will go to safety, at least. And now it's time to... Okay, he plays b5. It's, try... it's time to finish up with the development. What is the good way to do that? If you try and b4, but okay. Let's play this with g3. Then maybe bishop to g2, but okay, he's obviously attacking. I have to prepare e4 somehow. So this is this is the way I'm gonna do it. Let me capture like this. Okay, he goes for the for the bishop, and I'm going to open up the position like this. So okay, don't know why I did that. Now I'm losing once again a pawn here on g3. Okay, let's capture here. Okay, this guy is handling this situation very well. Rook to c8. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This one is going crazy. And what to do now? Okay, knight to c5. A nice square for the knight. But bishop to d6. Mm, okay. Knight a3 maybe. Okay. Okay, his king is still in the center, so this is something I can play for at least. But my king is crazy bad, so Okay, he plays this. Um, is it time to... Yeah, why not? Play this. Queen to f4. Okay, now I see. What's the... What's the idea? Let's play knight to d3. 93 move the king away and this is going to be an interesting one okay oh this is a check wasn't really paying attention <laughs> um okay Oh yeah, that one, yeah, this one is, this one is dead lost. No, can't really, can't really play for that one. Yeah, this one is 
quite bad. Okay, the knight is at least trying to protect here. Mm, okay, rook to f1 maybe. Now this, all of these moves are just just guesses. I cannot move the knight now. Bishop here. Okay, and what now? King ninety five. Yeah, let's bring the king closer, I don't know. Oh, okay. Maybe some counterplay. Well, he is really destroying me here. This this would be checkmate in one, okay. Okay, this dude really destroyed me. What to do? Play some stupid moves? Okay. Now what? Yep. Yeah. Oh man, is this really happen? Okay, bishop g3. <clears throat> His calculation is really good. Okay, that was a nice, nice jump there. Okay, don't know why I did this. But it's, yeah, game time. Very nice back to tournament. Cannot win without without being problems hmm. yeah sorry man I didn't uh, once again didn't pay attention to the chat oh man I lost now it's now it's becoming uh, quite interesting still in first place though and uh, once again playing against Koto Matsukumi so I'm going to play a little bit different now. C6. No, 94 is 94 is actually a very good move. I don't know why I didn't play for that. So let's play knight to e4. Let's disregard this whole idea and play knight e4. 94 is the main line as far as I remember it. So Okay. What happens after F6? I'm, I don't understand. Uh, I'm not really sure what what is happening here, but okay. Okay, knight three. Now I capture here. And I capture here, so he has to do this. But that's a healthy pawn. Yeah, I can simply play b5. Okay. Let's play e5. If he captures, capture with the queen. There are no silly checks. Sacrifice on c4 doesn't seem to be working. So, yeah. This knight is kind of out of the game. Let's capture actually, yeah. What happens after queen to b4? Queen d2, c3. Yeah, things are looking good in this game. Okay, I can capture this one. Rook b1. Rook b1, I am losing this pawn. And then after this, this pawn, but... 
At least I have a piece. Okay, knight b6, another protector of this pawn. Bishop d7, queen can go to a5. The king is out of the game, so if you play g3, bishop h3. Okay. Let's attack this pawn. F3. Hmm. Now that is interesting. What if I play F5? Let's first develop the bishop. Yeah. Now let's play F5. Okay, the queen goes here. Should I... Queen e3? Yeah, let's play queen to e3. If he wants, uh, he can grab this pawn. Okay. Now bishop to f5. g4. What is happening, man? Can I simply capture this? Capture, pawn capture, rook goes to f1. I can give a check. King goes to d2. Queen d4. There is no clear way. Still, I would like to. Okay, okay. Bishop g4, pawn g4, rook f8, king e1. I play c3, I'm threatening checkmate on f2. Then he can play queen d2, queen d3, queen c1. If he plays rook f1, I can capture and give a check once again, so... Yeah, let's go for this. Simply bishop to g4. Yeah, that one should be enough. Okay, he goes here. Now that's even more simpler. Because this is a check with a discovery and back to tournament. Okay, now it's, yeah, there is no point in stopping the stream because uh, obviously we are right at the end. Mm, probably one more way, uh, one more game. Mm, and, and that should be it. So, Tori Attack Rapid Arena. Thanks for the follow, Zinovich. A new Alpha Zero match with the Stockfish. Okay. Bach, 1956. Since, yeah, there is no point in berserking this one, let's simply play it as it is. G5. Who play Bishop to C1? I don't want to go into this variation at all. Oh, okay, yeah, it works after E6. So let me play this immediately. Just to get it off my back, this G5 idea. Okay, he goes back and now we have gone out of this whole ordeal. Let's open up the H file. Let's see how he likes it. Okay, he doesn't want to do it immediately. And yeah, knight to c6, c3, queen to c2, maybe considering queenside castle, maybe not. Okay, he is obviously preparing. Okay, after b5, e5 is also possible. But okay, bishop to d6 is fairly okay now, e4. But he also has e5 on the board. 
but he goes for a totally different thing and I don't think that knight to e7 is a good move there. So e5 was much better, could have been played in bishop to g4. Hey Bruno! So it wouldn't be a stream if Bruno wasn't attending, that's for sure. How was the memorial? Well, I proved that I uh, am lacking in uh, concentration when playing these types of games. So seven, playing a tournament with seven minutes plus three seconds increment uh, is a little bit weird since I don't play it usually. But uh, I did in the end score, uh, how much was it? Six out of nine with having six out of eight and have very good chances for the, for the, yeah, for the, for the first three places with a win and I actually had a very good chance there because my opponent was clearly uh, looking to win against me on time I wasn't really going for anything else and here I'm just looking at this position uh, how to trap the queen it seems like h3 and g4 are working very well so he has to think about it uh, the queen doesn't have anywhere to go after that and yeah Uh, no, that wasn't a FIDA rating, that was a blitz rating, so 7 minutes plus 3 seconds. And my FIDA rating, as I saw it, didn't really knew up until that tournament is... Um, uh, how much? It was uh, 21, I don't know, 30 or 40, something like that. So, it is... Uh, I would say it's a little bit hard than uh, my actual strength is, but that is only because I haven't been playing. And here, now, looking at this f5, I don't want to open up the position for him. I would like to play h3, g4 and trap the queen, but with f5, yeah, the f5 is the best move. Now if I capture, knight captures, and I can play knight to e5. Knight to, can I actually trap the queen? Okay, pawn captures. Yeah, you don't have to capture with the knight. That's also the thing. And queen h5, queen a8 is obviously getting away with the queen. And opening up the f file for him, yeah, it also seems like a little bit of a crazy idea so um, I'm going to play h3 to meet f4 with g4 Yeah, yeah, he is a good player. No, uh, there is no doubt in that. He is definitely a good player, but uh, I don't know. He had 5 out of 5 and then lost 2 games. And also had 6 out of 8 in the last round with me. And I don't know, he just started playing fast. I don't know if the problem was that he didn't have a chance for first place anymore. But, but yeah. Okay, I'm uh, fairly off in this one, uh, now starting talking about uh, uh, talking about the tournament that I play on sun played yesterday on Sunday. But in this position, yeah, maybe after not capturing with, with the idea of uh, yeah, uh, yeah, opening up the F file, maybe I gave him some chances. Okay, now already now with knight to g6 once again the queen is a little bit of a hot spot. So I don't know if he's going for for f4 here or something, but let's see. Let's see what he does. Okay. I think I can be fairly safe that and to say that in the end I did want this tournament 37 points I don't know when it was the last time when I won two tournaments one in rap and one in blitz and it is a good feeling and 
yeah i'm gonna i'm going to try to do more of these so more rapid games and also uh definitely some preparations because uh seems preparations and analysis of the games because it seems quite important okay so now there are no good jumps with the knight to attack the queen so i'm guessing c4 and not c4 because it's a good move but it would be a good time to open up the position knight to c5 possible not probable <laughs> it is probable but is it a good move well now knight to d4 is possible but it's really hard to say the queen is still here but no real real threats four minutes to go we will see yeah so i totally agree with zinovich here it's much easier to follow so it also allows me to talk more about the position and actual thoughts okay i'm not doing it in this game particularly because i'm focusing more on the chat because after this game i'm going to finish up with the stream but yeah the whole idea of me sharing some thoughts and everything yeah works very well with rapid so i'm thinking of continuing after this some other some other streams where i'm also going to feature some rapid games and where i'm going to feature some rapid tournaments okay bullet is also good but uh, it is more for fun and for me to actually you don't see anyone talking much about the game you just see them play when playing bullet so I would I much rather like to talk during the game so I think rapid is more for me chess is life <laughs> okay uh, um, okay what do we have in this position currently there is some pressure on the d5 points but there is nothing clear because uh, his all of his pawns are on light squares and this was my idea when I was going into this kind of a setup because when you have something like this um, yeah it isn't all that good because you have a light square bishop so that's for sure but uh, it doesn't it, it isn't all that clear because me I, I also don't have anything to show for here in this position um, I did play before like trying to expand here on the queen side but looking at it it isn't it isn't like uh, anything decisive so i really wonder what will his plan be because my plan at the moment is try to uh, put the, the pieces in the best squares possible and expand on the queen side so try to open up one side of the board to transfer the fight there still if i open up the queen side and these pawns will be weak so try to start off there knight to d4 is a move that centralizes the knight but it doesn't really help that much in the current stage of the position uh, for him i'm pretty sure that for the moment he doesn't have too many attacking chances and yeah i mean i'm looking at f4 but uh, i can simply play g4 to stop that maybe g5 g4 for him but yeah that's it okay this kind of helps me with my idea so my plan was to open up the the queen side and playing a5 and me playing a3 is quite okay so okay rook rook goes to a7 with queen to a8 i'm guessing and now the, the rook can enter the enter the game this way f4 okay as i mentioned easily stopped by g4 it is a pawn that goes away from the light square so to speak and okay does he want to maybe go queen okay not knight but maybe queen to g6 possibly but okay it's uh yeah the tournament is finished and that's only 30 seconds to go we i cannot imagine either of us finishing up the game in time for that so
Is this the right time to play knight to d4? Okay, let's recapture this one. Yeah, the problem with knight to d4 is this pawn. If I play... Okay, he may... Let's play b5. If he captures, the problem with capturing with the bishop will be that f3 is a move. Here, yeah. No, I don't want to capture with the, with the bishop or any of the pieces yet. Let me capture on c6 first. The idea behind that move is, of course, opening up the seventh rank where the queen is currently. Okay, pawn captures, pawn captures. Is anything happening in the chat? <laughs> the Lee Chess Tournament is the only tournament I can win. Well, thank you for the kind words, sir. Oh, okay, John Bartholomew streams bullet and talks a lot. Well, yeah, it works for some people. That's true. That's true. But for me personally, yeah. It's not for me, so some people can do it. I like to play bullet from time to time, but to actually stream it, it's it's not possible. Okay, an interesting sacrifice here. And okay, my bishop is defended, and I can even play pawn captures here. Okay, rook captures on b7, and uh, it is defended by the bishop, so... I think this game is pretty much finished as well. Okay, one last try, let's say, with the queen on f4, but I'm guessing queen to g6 is quite sufficient. Threatening checkmate. Yeah, he chose the wrong idea here, so... I mean, knight on d5 is a very good piece, but knight to e3 simply doesn't work, so. I actually watched uh, some games by this guy, John Bartholomew. Uh, some videos. And yeah, he is fun, so. But what to do here? <clears throat> Queen h6, knight e6, queen e6 with check, queen e6, knight e6 attacking the rook and the pawn. Yeah, that's better. I'm just looking at, is he maybe, no, he isn't able to. Okay. Yeah, let's play this. Let's play this. I was just looking, is he maybe able to push one of the pawns and make some threats? Okay, he can push that one. The knight is guarding the square. The knight is guarding both of the squares. A very good knight. If he pushes one, I will capture. And still, I am eyeing the square. So, everything is very well protected. H5, don't even want to go for that one. Let's play bishop to a4, threaten checkmate. Okay, he goes with the queen and I go out with the queen and that is checkmate. Back to tournament, one last look at the, <clears throat> at the board. And the, what, a nice, what, a, what a nice view. Okay, okay. A couple of things to take off from this uh, stream. The tower attack is nice. It kind it kind of suits me. Uh, maybe I'll look into more into this uh, more into this opening to try. Yeah, to try it out. Uh, judging by the yeah, the tournament wasn't very strong, uh, but in the end, yeah, it, yeah, it was a good thing to play it. <clears throat> okay, guys. Uh, yeah, not much to. 
see on the stream uh, as i've said i don't want to uh, repeat it for one last time so this is uh, the final game of the stream I'm going to finish up, but uh, the last couple of things uh, first and foremost uh, When not being able to Do any types of videos. So regarding the end game and regarding me playing against some engines. I'm going to try and stream um, uh, It kind of feels easier on Twitch and uh, To be honest, I kind of like it more than streaming on YouTube uh, if for those of you who want to see the video actually I'm going to just upload it to YouTube for you to see so Simply just if you wanted to go over through some games I'm definitely going to going to analyze some games tomorrow since it is rapid. It makes more sense It is not some blitz on 3 plus so and yeah um, Yeah, okay. No problems yeah, no problem. Yeah, always whenever I'll be able to stream. I will definitely do it So yeah, as I said, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for joining and thank you all for watching uh, Yeah, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Enjoy